Good morning. It's the 21st of November, 2024. It is uh, storming out, that cyclone bomb and all they talked about. So I wanted, we're in the hangar. Robert's behind the camera. Uh, I wanted to show you something that uh, I recommend that I do that might help you out. We're not flying today. We flew the Golden Eagle back yesterday, 513 Sierra Juliet. Robert, tell us the flight conditions while I open up the uh, nose uh, locker here. Took off out of Oakland yesterday on the east plan and, you know, got into some moderate turbulence pretty quickly. Uh, we were in the weather pretty quickly as well. But 45 knot on the tail all the way back to Auburn. We were hauling pretty good just below, you know, yellow line and came back in crosswind condition, 90 degree crosswind, you know, gusting up to 19, but nine knot. And uh, we got it down. Jerry's a good pilot, got it down safe. So, so that was yesterday. Today we're in a nice closed hangar. So here's the scenario. You take your family somewhere, it's a weekend, you have a nice time, you come to the plane on a Sunday, even a Monday morning, and you look and you got a flat tire, okay? You find a shop and they say, oh yeah, I got a jack, I can uh, take care of that. Uh, I can get you a tire on Tuesday, we can overnight one today, or we can get one Wednesday. You're down, no tire, no tube. Here's what I do, okay? I carry around, let me first pull this out. This is from Bogart Aviation, a jack. So what's in the, what's in the, what's in the box there, Jerry? Okay, we got the, the jack with the attachment that goes on the strut. And this will work with a number of different aircraft. What else is in the box, Jerry? Well, in case the shop doesn't have one or we need to do it ourselves, because you can change tires as an owner, you got the bead breaker here. I bought this, I think, from Home Depot, uh, Vevor brand. What else you got in here? In case you have to change the tire, I got baby powder. Some uh, rags. A big wrench for the uh, nut on the wheel, a bunch of extra bolts, air tools, sockets, wrenches for the wheels in case you got to take the wheels apart, some grease for the bearings, cotter pins, screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers for the cotter pin. So you're saying, wow, that looks like a lot of work, right? Well. What I do, and what I recommend for people, listen, you got an airplane, all right, you spend money on it, buy an extra wheel. All right, so I got a tire and tube for the nose, just a tire and tube. For the mains, I got a wheel, new tire, inflated, brake disc, ready to go on. Let's see how long it would take to jack the plane up. All right, so time now is 1021, okay? So we're gonna do this unedited and see what happens here. So I got the jack that I showed you and the handle. All right, Robert, get the light, the camera, action. Let's go under here. All right, so we put this under the strut. Goes this way, this way. When you raise a 7,500 pound airplane, you're gonna take a couple extra minutes to make sure you got it right. All right, we're gonna spin it around. It goes this way. You can see I didn't rehearse this. 
All right, so now we're gonna come up, close the valve, regular bottle jack action, close the valve, And this is cupped so it won't slip off. All right, so now we're squared up. Now we're gonna raise it up. And this is a safe way to do it as opposed to the way we also do it is with a jack underneath the wing with a jack point. Are we off the ground yet? We're off. We're off the ground? Yep. All right, a couple more pumps. All right, we're off the ground. There is no pin for safety or anything, but if you have the wheel off and it comes down, you're still gonna be on the jack, so you're not gonna hit the prop. So we started, what, 1021? Yep. 1023, took two minutes to get to that point. So you do your tire, you have to take off the, so for a wheel, take off one nut, cotter pin, Take it off and change the tire, put it down, you're on your way. Bogart Aviation, I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching.